Hey guys, Pete Scullion from Wide Open here. Uh, we are in Woburn with Duncan from Niner Bikes. Hey. We are testing some of their bicycles that are now direct to the consumer. And we're going to go for some hot laps. And there's one bike I'm pretty sure is going to be the quickest around here. So Duncan, if you could present me that bicycle. Well, the, the red run around here? Yeah, right. fastest bike around fastest the red run. Fastest bike. Don't be daft. Ta -da. No, 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 no. The 120. Come on, that's not going to be quick around here. This one? Yeah, that one, 120 29er. Well, that's going to be very quick around here and very comfortable, but I have a feeling that that's going to rip. Well, there's only one way to find out, isn't there? What's that? Against the clock. Let's go. Okay, so we're going to be very, very scientific about this. Gotcha. This is the start line here. So if we roll up to that, and then basically, all I'm going to do, when you're ready, I'm going to go three, two, one, go, and we're going to get it, get, get the fastest bike rolling. I mean, the gravel bike. Yeah. Yeah. You ready? Three, two, one, go. Coming. Come on, you can do it. Don't slack off. Come on, right to the end. Oh, time. Oh, man. Oh, that was horrible. 10.57. So there's your benchmark. It was pretty choppy. Yeah. I think the fact it's, well, it's like on anything, the faster you go, the smoother it gets. But sometimes there's that perfect speed where it's it's fine and then it gets rougher and you've got to go through that speed for it to become smooth again i think when it's i would liken this to a like a really stiff sports car yeah it will be faster probably but it'll be less comfortable Forgiving, to ride yeah. Yeah. yeah like you hit a pothole and you, your ancestors feel it kind <laughs> of thing yeah cool so be interesting you ready for the next one well we wheeze myself back to life and then go again for because because science Okay, so now we've got the 120 mil full bouncer. You ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. To avoid all routes on the jet, but actively avoiding the rough stuff that is here on the jet. Nowhere near as much of an issue. Here was really rough and just carrying so much speed. That turn there killed my speed up here on the gravel bike, but I was soon back up to pace the pedal down it on the top tube definitely keeping me going here oh. here he comes it's the integrity of the mountain bike that we're in and across the line <sighs> how was that that one hurt yeah but it was good i could take all the high lines i'd spotted do the jumps manual stuff on this, I can just go for it. If I, if it starts to slide, I can I can control it. If I want to gap something, I can gap it. If I want to take a rougher line, I can. But whenever it comes to just rolling speed or putting the power down, the gravel bike's way faster and vice versa. So who, without me revealing, what do you think's quickest? 
I well, I said before Good I left feeling. on this. I said it would either be an eleven oh four on this, yeah, or uh, ten fifty six on this. Okay. So it's either going to be considerably faster, or I know a minute's a minute, but I don't think it would be that big a gap. Yeah. Okay. That would be my guess. So but the gravel bike. Yeah. I would do the um, what is it called Top Gear thing? Yeah. Got to lean in. Yeah. So the gravel bike was what ten fifty seven. Ten fifty seven. You did it. On in, this. On this, you did it in 10. 33. Really? Yeah. Mountain bikes, yeah. <laughs> there isn't that much in it. And like on both uh, both laps, I had to slow down for a dog walker. Um, I think the second, the first time more so, because I was coming, I was behind them. I didn't want to run them over. And then a gentleman compliment. I think the 24 seconds came because when I got to the end of the in lap, a gentleman complimented me on my beard. Yeah. And that probably found me the 24 the, seconds. That extra ounce of That's speed. what sa <laughs> saved mountain biking. <laughs> yeah. There we go. So, mountain bike wins only just, and it's narrower than we both thought, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, there you have it. If you ride a lot of mountain bikes, you'll be comfy on mountain bikes. And if you don't ride gravel bikes, you won't be so confident on them. I but they're just as quick. They are pretty. If you if you spend the time on them and you ride something like the Longsdale Trail Red at Woburn, then there's really not much in it.